Uh, name's Bear Kigwa, and we're at the Showreel Studio in Los Alamitos, California. So we started making geese about six to eight years ago, and the reason why we started making geese is just because there's only a few, a few geese on the market that you could you could use that that met kind of what we were looking for in a cool gee. Um, so we decided to take the best things from each of the gee brands we liked at the time and try to unify them all into to one brand, which was basically our gee at the time. Uh, I think I think the the biggest thing from eight years ago to like where I started Jiu Jitsu like ten years ago or something it was like before in the US at least there was only probably about three or four manufacturers of geese which is maybe Power Combat Kimono or Wano and maybe Padilla and Sons was new on the market. Um, and that was it. So every be, before that anytime you need to get a gi you'd have to wait for someone to come from Brazil to buy a, a Brazilian brand like KF, Machado, uh, Corral was new at the time. Um, and you didn't really have a choice because you just kind of like bought whatever someone brought in from Brazil. But that was eight to ten years ago. And now there's so many different gi brands on the market. So I think now consumers just have product that's available to them now. They have way more choices. And, uh, I think that's just, I think that's just the biggest thing the biggest thing about then to now and I think before people used to buy geese because they needed geese for training um, they broke if they went through a geese they bought a new geese that's what triggered people to buy geese I think now since the geese started to get a lot more stylish from different brands I think now people buy geese one because they need a geese but two also because they might want to have a new cool geese out from a certain brand so it's, it's no longer based off of uh, needs anymore. Now it's based, based off whatever they want. So we, we get a little bit of both. I mean, we get solicitations on athletes looking for sponsorship. Um, and, but for the most part, the, how we find most of our athletes is just from just cruising the internet and keeping up with videos, trying to see who's who's doing well, who's winning tournaments, you know, who has a game or a style that, that we like, you know, so, I mean, we're on the ground level, we're jiu-jitsu geeks, you know, so, I mean, we watch a lot of jiu-jitsu videos from blue belt to black belt, so, I mean, um, we scout our own talent for the most part, so that's how we were able to pick up most of the athletes that support the brand now. I think, um, I, li I like all of them, but I think uh, probably some of the coolest geese that I like in the past is um, the gray skies that we released, which is like a white gi with gray lapels and some light blue trimming, um, just because for some reason it has like a certain mystique about it on the market. Um, so that was a really cool gi we did. And um, I think the black star and the super light were kind of like game changers for us. We kind of like that's kind of what really started the, the whole the whole um, the whole push on the brand. And it really started to create buzz and people really started to follow the brand. After those two views. I think that's why they're special to us because they, they kind of created a, a whole little culture that we have no idea where we're going to get into. The Count, which was um, our most recent release, and uh, every every gear we release, we try and relate it to something or tie it into something to where it means something to us at least. And uh, I think for uh, since Jiu Jitsu's grown, grown a ton over the last you know, five years, um, we wanted to do something that was more uh, to try and give back or to try and help uh, educate and promote um, the roots of Jiu-Jitsu, so um, that's how the, the concept of the count came about, was to um, to make a gi that was kind of cool, had a different cool colorway, but then had a bigger had a bigger impact, which was to try and educate, um, you know, either people that have been doing Jiu-Jitsu for a long time or first time people that have done Jiu-Jitsu to um, do some research on the the roots of jiu-jitsu, which is um, which is Kone Komo, the count, and the founder of uh, one of the founders of jiu-jitsu, who taught the Gracie family, um, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. So, um, you know, we put a little sheet in the bag that kind of gave two or three cool little facts about who he was, you know, and 
and now people kind of know a little, uh, little bit about uh, the roots of Jiu-Jitsu, so that was our whole target and plan for, for that game. Well, I guess the thing that I'm kind of like hooked on right now that's kind of cool is just uh, like we try and like collect keys every now and then, uh, use keys or keys that have been worn by athletes. Um, like we have uh, Braga Neto's gi that he used when he won Pan Ams, I think a couple years back. And it's his Atama gi, you know, we just sponsored him. Um, he has like a little Shoro patch here. A little A&B plumbing, his Atama patch. It's not a Shoro gi, but we're a fan, you know, so it doesn't have to be a Shoro gi to have cool memorabilia. This is Karen Gracie's gi that he used when he won Pan Ams. He made it on the cover of Gracie magazine. Shows him uh, some short roll patches here. His Gracie Baja patch. This is, I think, batch six that we made. Budo Videos is other sponsors. And there's just a big short roll patch. Budo Videos, Gracie Baja. So it's kind of just cool, like little memorabilia stuff. Matter of fact, I <clears throat> I purchased I purchased no yeah I picked up a pair of Leo Vieira shorts like eight years ago or six years ago when he won Abu Dhabi when he won Abu Dhabi so it's a pick it's a like pair of like a uh, blue corral gi shorts that Leo wore in the in Abu Dhabi which is like it was super cool for us you know we're just like fans of the sport so we we're just trying to collect every every now and then get a cool piece almost supposed to give us a like he used, you know, so um, just a bunch of different guys and like the stars of our sport, you know, that's kind of our culture. So having our own little personal memorabilia is, is pretty cool for us. I see Jiu Jitsu is going to just continue to grow, you know, I think it's going to, as more and more black belts get promoted or put in different areas that are, that don't have access to black belts, like st some of the states outside California and New York. Florida, some of the some of the states outside those states, I think it's just going to continue to grow. Um, I think with the UFC growing, it's just going to continue to grow. Um, so yeah, and I just I see it pacing and growing steadily over the next five to ten years. As far as uh, short roll is concerned, I think it's just uh, about building the brand to becoming um, a good solid company to where customers can rely on for a great gi and good product. And, uh, you know, just stick to our mission statement, which is provide a good product and provide good customer service. You know, we've went through some growth spurts over the last year, two years, but you know, we know what some of our issues are, and you know, with uh, we get good feedback from customers, good and bad, and it's only helped us grow the grow the brand and make sure we position ourselves to to, to make our customers happy. You know, so um, I see us coming out of the next couple of years to becoming um, hopefully the best brand on the market. You know. And, uh, just growing to continue to try and help meet some of the demand that, that's out there and getting, uh, getting customers more geese and getting customers more product. And good, good product. So. I'd just like to thank um, all the supporters of the brand, you know, um, good or bad, just thank you so much for your support and patience and dealing with us through, through the good times and bad times, you know, or through our growth and uh, through us learning to become a a bigger and better company, you know. So, just thank you for sticking with us, you know, and all the fans that we may have lost, you know. I hopefully we can uh, do things better and and gain them back as as uh, strong supporters of the brand and what we're doing, because uh, you know I don't see us going anywhere, and uh, we're in this long term.